Dear all, welcome back to Edivox. In this video, we are going to discuss about working drawing. So first let me explain you the contents of working drawing. The working drawing should have center line drawing, room dimensions, floor levels, there is doors and windows, then other necessary details. Let me show you one example of a this is a G plus 2 residential house, duplex house. So in a ground floor, we have two car parkings. So we have two car parkings and a servant quarters, a bedroom and a toilet. An actual floor plan starts from first floor. So in the first floor, they have living, dining, kitchen and a guest bedroom. And at the second floor, they have family room and two bedrooms at each corner of the houses. And the terrace, we have staircase headrooms. Now we are going to see the working drawing for this floor plan. So as I said the working drawing is usually starts with center line drawing. So the center line drawing is helps to mark the column positions. So in a working drawing the center line center line drawing given by the structural engineers are to be incorporated first for making the working drawings. So in a floor plan, the center line drawing has to be placed aligning the walls. After the center line drawings have been placed, it has been marked and the setbacks have been clearly mentioned so that it helps to locate the column in the sides. So after the uh, center line drawing have been incorporated into the floor plans, the next step is to provide the room dimensions, each room dimensions. Wherever the offsets or cross walls are coming, we have to provide necessary informations so that by seeing the dimensions, they can mark the walls for the constructions. So all necessary required dimensions of the rooms to be given for constructing of walls. And along with the room dimensions, window markings whatever the sizes of the windows has to be mentioned in the schedule of january see for example if, if it is a four feet window the window has to be mentioned in the name of uh, w1 or w2 whatever and at the right side of the template we have to give the january details like what is w1 so see for example here in this project w1 is six feet by four feet window so in a width it is six feet and in a height four feet and also the size of the window is mentioned in the January as well we, we have to know where to place our windows in the room. So in such cases if there is no dimension is given then it is understood that the windows are to be placed at the center. If suppose based on the elevation or some other requirements if, if you wanted to place your window at one third positions then you need to give the dimensions of the windows. And after window details, you need to show the other necessary details like the location of the loft as well as the wardrobes. If it is a kitchen area, then you need to mention the shelves, dimensions, and modular platforms. And for the toilets, you need to highlight the dry area as well as your uh, wet areas. So other necessary details, whatever is required to complete the working drawing, you have to provide. And other than this, in a site plan, in a site come ground floor plan, you need to give the floor levels. So what is that level you are taking? Like what is your benchmark level? See, usually we will take road level as a zero level. From road level, what is that car parking level? Usually the car parking is, is one feet, will be raised by one feet six inches. So you have to mention the car parking level as plus 1 feet 6 inches and in the floor further it has been increased by 6 inches. So you need to mention plus 2 feet level at the ground floor. The same way when it comes to first floor plan you have to mention that it is at 21 feet 6 inches level. So that it ensures that from the road level the finished floor, level, finished floor level of your first floor plan is 21 feet 6 inches and in first floor the stack is details, the tread, riser, width as well as the mid landing. Everything to be marked 
for the purpose of construction and the understandings going further in a first floor plan the balcony dimensions and the level of the balconies uh, if the bulk the width of the balcony as well the floor drop you are applying for the balconies for example the balconies are usually step down by 3 inches that is if it if it is it will be considered as 21 feet 3 inches at the balcony floor level so that has to be mentioned so that it will be very clear as well the toilet sunken positions the sunken has to be mentioned like what are sunkens we are applying no that has to be mentioned and it has to be given so the sunken position is also been marked further moving upwards we will be reaching at the terrace so in the terrace floor plan we need to give the dimensions of headroom the internal dimensions of the headroom as well as the outer dimensions of the headroom for the construction of headrooms as mentioned in the drawings further the slope of the terrace parapet as well as other necessary details like over a tank or lifted rooms whatever is required based on your projects you have to give the details for that these are the things to be considered for floor plan working drawing further for this for construct for achieving this working drawing elevation working drawing has to be made usually the elevations will be actually the elevations are named as north elevation south elevation west elevation or an east elevation so in elevation the first thing you have to be considered is you have to mention all the levels like what is the finish level of car parking level and the ground floor roof level as well as your typical floor levels and your final terrace level this levels has to be very clearly mentioned for the understanding of constructions and about the elevational details wherever necessary projections it has to be mentioned usually the plain wall the basic wall has been the main wall has been considered as a zero level from the main wall whatever if it is a balcony the projection has to be mentioned like it is 4 feet from the main wall or 5 feet from the main wall will be mentioned as plus 4 feet 0 inches level or plus 5 feet 0 inches level the same way the water projections are mentioned as plus 2 feet level or plus 2 feet 6 inches level and the band and other details or either sunshade details has to be clearly mentioned showing the levels as well as the details it required for that the dimensions of the band or any patterns or textures or materials has to be then and there mentioned for the clear understanding of construction clear understanding for the constructions so this is how the working drawing floor plan working drawing as well as the elevation working drawings were made
Thank you for watching our channel. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe our channel and keep motivating us. Let's learn together. Thank you, Edivox.